Hi everyone, welcome back. And the last video we looked at a very basic Pi game window. Uh, in this video, we're going to spruce that up a little bit, add some color, and talk about how color is handled in Pi game. We're going to look at the coordinates and load an image to tie that all together. So this is the window we had in the last video. Um, we want to spruce this up a little bit. First of all, we want to give it a caption. And second of all, we want to configure it so we don't have this nasty error message when we close it out. To create the caption, we simply um, add this line, the display caption command for Pygame, and put in hello world or my first, first program or anything you want. To get rid of the <coughs> error message, we call the system, which we imported the last time. We call this system and that exit. So um, when the user types quit, then the sys exit is called and we should not get this um, message. So let's run that. Okay, now we have a caption with hello world and when we exit it, we do not see any message. So let's take a look at changing the color from the black screen to something else and customizing it a little bit. Before we change the color on our gaming window, let's look at how coloring is done in Pi Game. It's the three primary colors of light. Computers use light, uh, red, green and blue. Each color is represented with a tuple with three integers from 0 to 255. You can mix these colors up any way you want to get the desired effect. The back in PyCharm, I've created a variable for some of the colors just to make it easier. You could use these numbers. As you can see, black and white have been added. And white is 255 three times and black is three zeros. So to fill the um, game window with the color, we use the my display variable that we created earlier to <clears throat> determine the size of the screen. And we use the fill function, which is a Pi game function, to fill the color. So in this case, I have uh, filled it with green. That should give us a new window. And yes, it does. We could change that to anything we want and so on. To load objects on our game window, we're going to need to know um, how they're tracked and how they're positioned. So you're probably familiar with the Cartesian coordinates here. Um, on the left, where 0, 0 is in the middle, um, and then it works up or down from there. Pi Games coordinates is, a, is similar, but different in the sense that 0, 0 is on the top left. There's no minus, um, so the bigger the number gets on the y-axis, the lower down the screen. Um, on the x-axis, the more to the right. So that's how objects are placed and tracked in Pi Game. So to drive home the point on coordinates and show you how it works, I've downloaded an image from the internet uh, called Dog PNG. It's just an image that I found in free clip art. You can uh, do that too, or you can um, take the image from my website. I'll leave the notes at the end of this video in pythonforadultsandkids.com, and you can find the image I have here. Either way, you download it. If you put it in the games project, you won't have to put paths or are um, specified where the file exists and that makes it easier for now. Um, so we create a variable dog and we make that equal to pygame image function and load. Uh, be sure to put the file name in, in quotes. And then we go down to our continuous loop and put uh, use the my display variable which we created earlier to define the size of the screen. We uh, use the blit function. Blitting is the art of copying images uh, from one place to another, basically on the screen at this point. It's very common in game graphics and it's ideal for two, 2D graphics, which is what we're using here. And then the tuple with the coordinates, so it will be X100 and Y500, um, starting at 0, 0. And uh, let's run it, see how it goes. So our insanely cute dog is at Y500, X100. And we can move him around if we change those values in that tuple. And uh, that, is, that is the surface. Just keep in mind that the uh, zero, 00 is on the top left and it goes down and across. So before we can move our little buddy around on the screen, we have to make some changes. The first thing is, instead of using uh, hard-coded variables down here for the X and Y position, I created a variable, x position, y position, with the coordinates of our image. So this will allow us to update it dynamically. The second thing we need to do is add another event type. If you remember, the first event type we created was if the user quits. 
The next one will be if the user presses a key down. These um, are Pygame variables and they will come up when you hit the period after Pygame. So um, <clears throat> if the uh, vent type is key down, the next check is, was it the up arrow or the down arrow? If it is the uh, up arrow, the Y position is decreased by 10, which will move the image up. And if it was the down arrow, the Y position will increase with 10 and it'll push it away from the top of the screen. So when we run this, we should be able to move our image up and down on the screen. And as you can see, we can. I will leave moving this image left and right to you. You should be able to edit this code and go in and just add different event keys to make the image move towards the left or the right. So that's the covers the basics of coloring and coordinates in Pygame. These are important aspects of using Pygame. And in the next lesson, we're going to see how to move images around more smoothly and start to develop simple games. If you want the code or the image from this video, please go to my website at pythonforadultsandkids.com. Please don't forget to subscribe and share if you like these tutorials. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.